My name is Mike Nelson. My profession, skin diver. I was in the Gulf of Mexico, a few miles west of Tarpon Springs, Florida, and I was doing some geological research for marine land of the Pacific. About a mile and a half away, a hard hat diver was collecting sponges. He was doing the same sort of work that his father and his grandfather had done before him, both here and in their native land of Greece. A half hour later, when I surfaced, I learned that the Coast Guard had relayed a message to us. The diver was in trouble. There was nobody aboard his boat except his daughter and an old man. They needed help. I headed there immediately and followed the airline down. The hose had snagged in a sharp crevice and it was on the verge of breaking. He couldn't reach it. In a matter of minutes, he would have drowned. I set him free, and this eventually got me into one of the most dangerous situations that a man can face. Some men can look death in the eye without even blinking. The diver that I'd rescued was just such a man. Not this time. Well, it's not this time, and the next time, or the time after that. She'd never have chased Johnny Greco away. Johnny Greco. A poor excuse for a man. You want him back? No, Pop, I don't want him back. Good riddance. My name's Tom Landis. I want to thank you for what you did. Ah, I think nothing of it. Mike Nelson's my name. How you feel now, okay? Landis is always okay. Landis is the best diver in the world. Well, uh, could have been a great day for the second best diver in the world, huh? You're pretty good too, huh? Hey, you have dinner with us tonight, huh? Well, thanks the same, but... Uh... I'd uh, be very pleased, Mr. Nelson. Call me Mike, huh? Uh, where do you live? Ask anybody in Tarpon Springs. They'll tell you where to find the House of Landis. <laughs> Sit down. Sit down. Make yourself comfortable. Here, lift up your feet. Well, thank you. Thank you. Here, lean back. Hey, I may never get up again. <laughs> well, that was a great dinner. Yeah. My wife. Peace to her memory was a better cook than either of my daughters. You have another daughter? Yeah, Sophia. She's now in Tampa with her husband. Six times they had made me a grandfather. Would you believe it? Landers, a grandfather with a long gray beard. <laughs> <laughs> Pretty young for a job like that. <laughs> Nick Demetrius, a diver, a man maybe half my age. He called me grandpa last month down the pier. <laughs> It was a full three weeks before he came out of the hospital. <laughs> that was one good fight. One of my best. <laughs> Fighting. Don't you ever think of anything else? Oh, why shouldn't I? Who is the best fighter in Tarpon Springs? <laughs> you are, Papa. It's true, too. The boys. Well, they've all stopped coming to see me. They're afraid of him. Afraid of Grandpa? <laughs> hey. <laughs> Maybe you, you like to fight, huh? <laughs> oh, not especially. Why don't scare easy, Mr. Landers? I like you, Mike. You call me Tom. Okay, Tom. <laughs> then when we fight, I don't hurt you. I hit you just once. Right here. Real easy. Thanks. <laughs> <laughs> 
You see, you're at it again. All right, Elena, no fighting. I will entertain, I guess. I will show him the pictures in the family picture book. Uh, no pictures, Papa. You embarrassed me with the ones when I was a baby. Uh, Go away. Very beautiful baby, my very fat. Stop it. <laughs> mouth open like a fish on the beach? Uh, well, I, I heard what happened to you today. I, I came to apologize. Apologize? What for? Well, for, for making you angry. Now I can have my old job back again, and, and if there's any more trouble like today, I'll be there to help you. My father beat you up and, and threw you off the boat, and you would come back? Listen, I think I better believe Oh, no. Mike, you stay. This, uh, Mr. Graco will be leaving in a moment. I think I'll throw him out. That won't be necessary, Papa. What kind of a man are you? Well, I'm a good man and a good diver. Poor, maybe, but, but pretty soon I'll be a partner in a boat and then we can get married. Me marry you? Well, why not? Because I can't beat your father? Well, neither can anybody else in Tarpon Springs. <laughs> That's very true. You've got a good head on your shoulders, Johnny Greco. A good head, but no backbone. Good night, Johnny. Elena, please. I said good night, Johnny. Papa? All right, Mr. Londos, all right. <clears throat> nice kid, that Johnny Greco. Pretty fair diver, too. What? You mean you like him? Of course. Everybody likes Johnny Greco, except maybe Elena. I hate him. You really don't mean that. Yes, I do. Papa, isn't it about the time you usually go to bed? What? Oh, yes. Good night, Mike. Remember, Lana's house is your house anytime. Uh, Tom? Yeah? Night. Good night. Nice evening. Dinner. Oh. You afraid of Londos too? It's not your father that I'm afraid of.
you're pretty good at a rumba, mister. Now let's see how good you are with a knife. Johnny Greco was holding his knife like a man who knew how to use one. This made me feel very vulnerable. I'm sorry. I don't happen to have a knife on me. Okay. No knives this time. Johnny, you don't want to fight with me. Only my friends call me Johnny. Okay. Let's be friends then, huh? What's the matter with you? You yellow. Maybe you think I'm yellow, huh? No. You'd have used your knife if you were. You're trying to talk yourself out of a beating. I'm just trying to talk sense. You're acting like a fool. What happened? You kept leading with your right. Huh? You leave yourself wide open for a counterpunch when you do that. Boy, I'm no good for nothing. Not even this. Oh, stop it. Listen, I could teach you how to handle yourself in no time. Yeah, why'd you want to do that? Oh, why not? Yeah, I know. I kind of like Elena, too, but uh, that doesn't mean we can't be friends, does it? Now, listen. You're not doing anything tonight, are you? Why don't you come down to the boat? We'll talk things over, huh? Come on. You know, someday, with a little luck, I'm gonna get me a big haul of sponges. Yeah? Well, what do you figure to do with all that dough? You gonna buy a share of a boat? Well, sure. When a man owns property, it's not so easy for a girl to laugh at him. Johnny, something I'd like to try it has to do with sponge diving. You gonna be free the next couple of days? Yeah, I'm. Uh, I'm free until Tom Londo submits. He needs my help, and he's a very stubborn man. Meet me tomorrow morning at nine o'clock. Huh? Okay. I'll bring my diving gear. Now, don't bother. This is a different kind of diving. I'll bring the gear. was a very simple one, but I needed another skin diver to help me prove it. Johnny was an apt pupil. He was delighted as a kid with his newfound freedom of movement. As a matter of fact, he was so eager that I had difficulty getting him out of the water when our time was up. Between dives, I kept the rest of my bargain with Johnny. He was a nice kid and he'd been pushed around. That wasn't going to happen again, if I could help it. Yeah, try to hit my hand now. Come on. Hit my hand. That's right. Come on. That's right. That's it. Huh? Oh, boy. That's it. Show you a duck now. Come on. Very good. That's very good. Want to try a little jujitsu now? Huh? All right. 
Hey, what do you think you're doing, huh? I learned this down the docks. You can't get out of this. Oh, you think you got me, huh? Yeah. You don't want me to put you in the water, do you? <laughs> Give it a try. Hey, <laughs> that's pretty good. I gotta learn that one. <laughs> Once he'd mastered this new technique, it was easy enough to test my theory that there were places in the Gulf, underwater caves, for example, that were inaccessible to a man dressed in the conventional diving suit, the type that Tom Landis and his father, and his father before him, had worn. The first cave we entered proved my point. It was loaded with prime sponges. One more trip down, Mike. That's all we need. There's no more room to put in these sponges. <laughs> Don't you worry about that. I'm an old hand at this. This is just too good to pass out. Well, okay. One more trip and that's it. Right. I hadn't really wanted to make this last dive. I had a feeling that we'd been very lucky. I didn't want to press our luck. I didn't notice as I swam into the cave that Johnny had stopped outside to clear his faceplate. This probably saved both our lives, because I was already in the clear when shifting tides suddenly caused an underwater landslide, pinning Johnny to the bottom. Entire fright right here on the deck. The important thing is that you weren't afraid down there where it counted. Well, thanks. You know what I was thinking all the time it was going on down there? What? No matter what we get for these sponges, it won't be enough. <laughs> yeah, let me take this off you, huh? <sighs> the job was done and we were heading back to Tarpon Springs. I was eager to see Elena again. And so was Johnny. I'll be in pretty soon. Yeah. Johnny, I was thinking, uh, what boat do you figure to buy into? Oh, Tom Lander's. I'm just as stubborn as he is. Yeah, well, good luck to you. Say, Mike, uh, we're partners on this trip. I was thinking as soon as we sold the sponges. Oh, yeah. Yeah, I know. As far as the little other is concerned, the partnership ends. Yeah. Friends, sure. No longer partners. No, no. Well, uh, you're the captain. Who sees her first? We're flip board, huh? That's a fair way. Call her. Heads. Okay, I'll give you half an hour, no more. And then I show them. Okay. Yeah, come in. Come in. 
Good to see you, Mike. <laughs> uh, nice to see you. Uh, uh, where's Elena? Uh, she's getting dressed. Hey, I hear you and Johnny do all right, huh? You bring back fortune in prime sponges. Oh, I wouldn't exactly say fortune. <laughs> Fine fellow, that Johnny, huh? He's the best. Uh, Elena, is she going to be very long? No, nah, you know how girl is when she got a date with fellow. Come on, I'll show you a picture book. <laughs> yeah, go ahead, Mike. Look. Ah, Elena. Why, well, she's sure pretty. That's my daughter, Sophia. Taken eight years ago. Before she was married. No. Hmm. Why, she looks just like Elena. Hmm. Who's this? That's Sophia, too. That picture was taken last month. <laughs> Filled out pretty good, huh? <laughs> Filled out? She, she must have gained about 50 pounds. 60? Looks just like her mama now. Peace to her memory. I gotta get out. I mean, I, I forget. I, I remember something. Uh, excuse me, huh? Hey, Mike. Johnny. Hey, is the time already? Yeah, it sure is. Come on in. Oh, congratulations, Johnny boy. Con congratulations. I was just leaving. Leaving, huh? Uh, where's Elena? Hello. What are you doing here, Johnny Greco? My first business here is with your father. Excuse me, please. Here. This is for 25% interest in your boat. 25%? I'll give you 10%. Maybe. Well, 25% is little enough for a future son-in-law with money. He is not your future son-in-law and you'll give him nothing. Throw him out. Sorry, Johnny. Nothing personal. No, 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 no. Wait a minute, Mr. Lawn. Let's take it easy, huh? Remember, Johnny, he leads with his rights. Okay, Grandpa. Get up. Take a little more, Grandpa. Had enough yet, Grandpa? Twenty-five percent interest, and you're getting a partner who's a pupil of Mike Nelson. Now you better say yes before I change my mind. It's, it's a deal. Good. Come on, we're going to church right now. No. No. How can you say no to the best fighter in Tarpon Springs? And besides, Mike's taught me his way of diving. We're going to be rich. I still say no. I love you. Will you marry me, please? Johnny. Up. We don't want to miss that wedding. Come on. Hello there. I'm Lloyd Bridges. Skin diving is fun and adventure for young and old, but it can be dangerous. I know the sport well and don't take any chances. Be with you next week for another exciting sea hunt.